Hello everybody, uh, today we're going to go through another um, prelim paper, so um, apologize for the delay, just now I was testing for the mic and waiting for the sound feed. Okay, uh, let's get into the paper. Let me make some adjustment first. Okay, question one. Five students took part in a donation drive. The table below shows the amount of money collected by the students. The amount collected by Charlie and Dennis was not shown. Okay. The average amount of money collected by the five students was $320. Okay. Charlie collected $170 um, less than Dennis. How much money did Charlie collect? Okay, so um, since the average amount of money collected by the five students was $320, okay, let's find out what is the um, total amount collected by the five students. Okay, total would be $320 multiplied by 5. That would give me... Okay, $1,600. Okay, so I'm going to find what is the total of... Um, Ahmad plus Bala plus Emma. Going to be 250 plus 180 plus 200. Okay, that's going to be $630. Now I'm going to find out what is um, the total of Charlie and Dennis using $1,600. Okay, minus away the $630. It's going to give me three, uh, $970. Okay, so uh, since Charlie collected $170 less than Denise. Um, if you were to draw a simple model, you should realize that this is Denise and Charlie would be okay, lesser and the total would be 970. Okay, if they are they're asking you to find how much money did Charlie collect. So if you want to find the smaller um the shorter bar, okay, you can use 970, subtract away the excess and divide it by 2. Okay, and this will give you $400. Okay, question 2. There are 102 red and green flags hanging on a string. There are 3 green flags between any two red flags. What is the largest number of red flags on the string? Okay, so a string, mm, there are red flags and um, there are like red flags and every um, like two red flags, there are three green flags. Okay. So what is the largest number of red flags? So we have to start with one. And in this case, we can see that um, the pattern will go like this, followed by a red flag. Okay, so this is the repeating pattern. Okay, so we are going to use uh, 102 divided by 4 first. Okay, this will give me a okay, 25. Point five, and we're gonna round it off to 
25 okay which means that there are 25 of these groups okay but if i were to use 25 times 4 okay, it's going to give me 100 flags it means that by the number 100 flag it is a green one so i'm going to write our 100 okay and then 101 and then 102 okay what's the largest number of red flags on the string so for every um group there will be one red flag so 25 there will be 25 red flags and i need to plus one more okay it's gonna give me 26 red flags <clears throat> okay question three in the figure w x y z is a parallelogram a g y it's a straight line w x y is 85 degree w g y is 120 degree okay find angle z y g which is um over here okay first i can find this angle over here which is angle <coughs> g z y is equals to 85 degree <coughs> because um, opposite angles are the same for a parallelogram okay next I can find this angle over here okay, angle z g y is equals to um, 180 minus 120 okay which is going to give me 60 so now to find the answer of angle z y g i just need to use 180 minus 85 and minus 60. okay it's gonna give me 35 degree okay um alternatively you can use this way uh to find angle to find the answer of uh zyg you can straight away use 120 minus 85 okay if you're familiar with this um rule exterior angle of a triangle okay this will also give you okay the same answer <clears throat> so answer to this question is 35 Okay, question 4. The diameter of a circle is 14 cm, taking pi to be uh, 22 over 7. Based on the information above, put the tick in the correct box. Area of the circle is 154 square cm, so we can find out um, area is equals to pi times um, r times r and cancel and it will be a uh, 22 times 7 okay it's gonna be 154 so this option a is true okay b when the diameter of the circle is doubled okay the area of the new circle becomes two times the area of the original circle okay so which means that the new diameter If it is doubled, it will be 28, right? Okay, which means that the radius will be 14. So now I'm going to calculate the new area, which is uh, 22 over 7 times 14 times 14. Okay, and I'm going to reduce it, okay, and it's going to be 22 times 2 times 14 going to give me 616 cm square to find how many times it is i'm going to use um 616 divided by 154 okay which is going to be four times okay which means that for part b when it says that you become two times it is false Okay, question 5. 
the square grid below AB and BC are two sides of a rhombus. Okay, complete and label the drawing of uh, rhombus ABCD. Okay, ABCD. Um, D should be right here. So I'm going to try and draw a line from here. Okay, this doesn't snap that well. Just going to try and use a uh, freehand. Okay, if you are doing it on a piece of paper, you will have a um, ruler, and you'll be able to draw it properly. Okay, so I'm going to skip part B because um, I'm not going to measure the size of the angle um, correctly over here. Okay, question 6. Company offered a total of 120 printers at a 25% discount over a 6-day sale. The line graph below shows the number of printers left unsold at the end of each day. Okay, so during the sale, the discounted price of each printer was $150. After the 6-day sale, the remaining printers were sold without any discount. What was the total amount of money collected from selling all the 120 printers? Okay, I'm going to write down the numbers over here first. So this is a 20, 20 divided by 5, each one is a 4. This is a 104. This is 80, this is um, 64, this is 40, day 5 is um, 32, hope I get this correct. Okay, and day 6 would be 20. Okay, so I'm going to write down how many um, items were sold. Okay, day 1 um, is 120 minus 104, which will be be 16 let's just be sure okay then day 2 will be 104 minus 80 24 day 3 will be 80 minus 64 which is 16 and day 4 will be 64 minus 40 which is 24 Day 5 will be 40 <clears throat> minus 32, which is 8. <clears throat> okay, and day 6 will be 12. Okay, after the 6 uh, day sale, the remaining printers were sold without any discount. So if the discounted price is $150, <clears throat> Okay, and then there is a 25% discount, right? So this will be at uh, 75%. Okay, so I'm going to find what is the um, original price. Okay, the original price will be 150 divided by 75 and then I multiply by 100. Okay, which will be two hundred dollars. Okay, so the uh, what was the total amount of money collected from selling all the hundred twenty printers? So at the after the six day sale, the remaining printer, which is uh this twelve.
<coughs> Question 7. The table shows the number of pies baked by three bakers, at least baked um, P plus 7, and then baked to P minus 5. <coughs> Cindy baked P. Find the total number of pies baked by the three bakers. Express your answers in terms of pie. Okay, so for part A, you need to use P plus 7 plus a <coughs> to P minus 5 plus a P. Okay, so uh, all the P will. Let's add up the P first. So P, 2P, and P will give me 4P. And as for the number, the number will be 7 minus 5, which will give me a plus 2. Okay, this will be the answer for part A. For part B, if P is equal to 55, find the average number of pies baked by the three bakers. Okay, so I'm going to find what is the total first. <clears throat> total will be 4 times 55 plus 2. Okay, which will give me 222. Next, to find the average. Okay, I need to use 222 divided by 3. Okay, that's going to give me 74. Okay, question 8. Jack and Jill um, started cycling from the same place in opposite direction. So they are cycling from the same place in opposite direction. Okay. <clears throat> Jill cycled at a speed of 9 km per hour. 9 km per hour. Jack cycled at a speed of 2 times that of Jill. 2 times which means that it is 18 km per hour. Okay, how far apart were they after cycling for 45 minutes? Okay, so if you um, were to calculate the distance cycled by um, Jack and Jill individually and add them together, you'll be able to find the total distance. Or if you want to um, do it in a simpler way, you can find their total speed. Okay, total speed will be 18 plus 9, which is equals to 27 km per hour. Okay, and then to find their distance, Okay, you just have to use the speed multiplied by the time. The time is 45 minutes, so you have to change it into hour. Okay, by expressing it as uh, 45 over 60. So 25 times 45 over 60 will give you 20.5. Okay, this will be the their distance apart after 45 minutes. Question 9. Bernard stacked 9 cubes and glued them together to form a solid below. <clears throat> so the bottommost uh, bottom layer, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, just to make sure that all the um, cubes are there. Draw the front and top <coughs> view of the solid on the grid below. Front view will be a tree tree and a zigzag. So it will be something like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. And um, okay, and the top view the top view will be two like this and another three. Okay, followed by this. 
Okay, part B, what is the minimum number of cubes Bernard has to add to the solid to make it a bigger cube? Okay, so in order to make it a bigger cube, uh, we need to look at the side. The side, there are three cubes. Okay, so the bigger cube would be a... 3 times 3 times 3 cube. Okay, which will give you 27 cubes. So to find uh, how many cubes Bernard will need to add, we need to use 27 minus away the 9. Okay, 27 minus 9 will give me 18. Okay, question 10. The figure below is made up of two semicircles and a right angled triangle. So this is one semicircle. This is the other one. Okay, and the right angled triangle will be here. The diameter of the two semicircles AB and BC are six, uh, 12 cm and 16 cm respectively. The two semicircles meet at X over here. AC, AC is uh, 20 cm. Find the area of the shaded area, the shaded part. Okay, so okay, in this question, um, I will need to use um, overlapping techniques. Okay, first I'm going to find the total area of the two semicircles. I'm going to do the working over here first. Okay, step one, I'm going to find the area of um, the two semicircles. So half times <clears throat> I. Okay, the smaller one will be um, 6 square. This will give me 56.52. Okay, the larger one will be half times pi times 8 square. Okay, which will give me 100.48. Okay, the next step I need to add them together, 100.48 plus 56.52. Okay, this is going to give me 157. Okay, next I'm going to... Uh, Color, I'm going to highlight um, semicircle AB. Okay, then next I'm going to use a different color, uh, probably green, okay, to highlight the bigger semicircle BC. Okay, so now um, you have to realize that this shaded area over here, there are overlapping parts. So there are two layers over here. Okay, while the other parts consist of only one layer. So this is one layer, this is one layer. This is also one layer and one layer. Okay, if I were to use this, uh, one, five, seven, 
And if I were to minus away the area of the right angle triangle, I'll be removing uh, one layer from here, one layer from here, and one layer from here. Okay, which means that the this part over here will, will uh, have one layer left. Okay, so the next step will be to use uh, to find the area of triangle ABC. Okay, that will be half times. Base times height. Okay, which will be 96. So the last step will be to use 157 minus 96. <clears throat> okay, which will give me 61 square cm. Okay, so this is the answer for the area of the shaded parts. Question 11. Mrs. Lin baked some cupcakes. She sold a quarter of them in the morning and three fifths of them in the afternoon. Okay, she decided to bake another uh, 252 cupcakes. The number of cupcakes she had in the end was 3 over 4 as many cupcakes as she had at first. Okay, how many cupcakes did Mrs. Lim have in the end? Okay, so I'm going to find out how much did, uh, did she sell in the morning and afternoon altogether. So the first step will be 1 over 4 plus 3 over 5. Okay, which will give me 17 over 20. And uh, after she, she decided to bake another 252 cupcakes, the number of cupcakes she had in the end <clears throat> was 3 over 4 as many as many as the number of cupcakes she had at first. Okay, so 3 over 4. I'm gonna times 5 times 5. That will give me 15 over <clears throat> 20. <clears throat> okay, so which means that if I were to <clears throat> draw a model. Should I draw a model? <clears throat> Maybe a simple one over here. Okay, and if I were to cut it in two, <clears throat> okay, um, 17 units and 3 units, okay, this will be what is uh, left. Okay, here to here. Okay, and then after she baked 252 cupcakes, the number of cupcakes she had in the end is 15 over 20 as many cupcakes as she had at first, which means that um, after baking, there will be another 8, you increase until 15 units. So 15 units, it means that you increase until 12. Maybe I should draw another block below and that'll be easier for us to compare. Okay, so it will become 15 unit. <clears throat> 5 unit. Okay, which means that here to here is basically 12 unit. And that is equal to the 252 cupcakes. Okay, so 12 units is equals to 252. Okay, the question is asking us to find how many cupcakes did Mrs. Lim have in the end. Okay, so in the end she's got 15 units, right? One unit will be equal to 
252 divided by 12, which is 21. <coughs> 15 units will be equal to 31 times 15, which is uh, 315. Okay, 315. Question 12. Mrs. Chandra bought 4 fifth as many pears as apples and 2 fifth as many mangoes as apples. She paid a total of $150 for all the fruits. The ratio of the amount of money she spent on the apples to the amount she spent on the pears was 3 is to 2. Ratio of the amount of money she spent on the pears to the amount of money she spent on the mangoes was 1 is to 5. The cost of each apple was 60 cents. Find the total number of fruits Mrs. Chandra bought. Okay, so I'm going to write down the ratio of the number of fruits first. Mrs. Chandra bought 4 fifth as many pears as apples, which means that pears is to apples is 4 is to 5. Okay, and 2 fifth as many mangoes as apples, which means that mangoes is to apples is 2 is to 5. Okay, we can see that uh, the common subject, which is the apples, is also the same. Which means that uh, we can immediately combine them together. Pear is to apple, is to mango, is to is a four, is to five, is to two. Okay, she paid a total of hundred fifty for all the fruits. The ratio of the amount of money. So this is uh, talking about the number of fruits. Okay, so now we're going to write down the ratio of the amount of money. Okay, the ratio of the amount of money she spent on the apples to the amount she spent on the pears is, so apple is to pear is 3 is to 2. The ratio of the amount of money she spent on the pears to the amount of money she spent on the mangoes is 1 is to 5. Okay, so in this case, the common subject is pears, but they are not the same. So which means that I need to multiply by 2 to this, which will give me a 2 is to 10. the ratio of the amount of money spent for apple let's make them the same pair is to apple is to um, mango will be 2 is to 3 is to 10 okay and remember um, over here she spent a total of $150 okay, on all the fruits. Now, the next step is to <clears throat> make use of the cost of the apple okay, to find out how many apples did she buy. Okay, so I'm going to distribute the, the $150 across all the units. Um, Okay, 15 units. I'm gonna do it here. 15 units is equal to 150 dollars. So one unit is equals to 10. Okay, which means that this is apples will be 30, pears will be 20. Okay, mangoes will be 100. So since uh, the cost of each apple is 60 cents, the next step will be to use $30 divided by 60 cents. Okay, that is going to give me 50 apples. 
in now if you go into the ratio of the number of items i know that there are 50 apples okay which means that there's also there's 40 pairs and there's gonna be 20 mangoes okay because uh we just add a zero behind now the question is asking us to find the total number of fruits mrs chandra bought okay the total number of fruits will be A 40 plus 50 plus 20 which is 110 question 13 Liling had some two dollar notes and Anna had some five dollars five dollars uh, notes after Liling used a quarter of her notes and Anna used two over seven of her notes they had the same number of notes left. If they had $315 all together in the end, how much money did Liling have at first? Okay, so for Liling is $2 notes. She okay, used a quarter. Okay, which means that she's left with three quarter. Okay, for Anna, she has some five dollar notes. Okay, she used um two over seven, which means that she's left with five out of seven. Okay, they had the same number of um, notes left which means that uh, you need to make the numerator the same okay if you understand the um, same fraction technique you need to multiply by five multiply by five and in this i need to multiply by three multiply by three this will give me 15 over 20 and this will give me 15 over 21 okay so the denominator 21 units and 20 units will tell you okay the number of um two dollar notes and five dollar notes okay they had the same um if they had <clears throat> 315 dollars all together in the end Okay, because in the end, they have the same number of notes left, which means that the ratio of the number will be 1 is to 1. Okay, so the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to use $315 okay, divided by 7, which is the total of the $2 notes and the $5 notes. Okay, 315 divided by 7 will give me 45. Okay, this will suggest that there are 45 um, groups. And uh, now I need to find how much money did Li Ling have at first. Okay, this 45... Um, Suggest that they have 45 uh, notes each left. So for Li Ling, okay, 3 quarter is equals to 45, which means that I can find what is uh, 1 quarter will be equal to 45 divided by 3, which is 15. Okay, and um, 4 over 4 will be equal to 15 times 4, which is 60. Okay, this is uh, the number of $2 notes that Liling has. Okay, so to find how much money did Liling have at first, I will need to use 66 multiplied by 2, okay, which is $120.
Okay, question 14. 250 boys and girls shared a sum of money. The average amount each child received was uh, $69.88. Average amount each boy received was $55 and the average amount each girl received was $85. Okay, how much more money did the girls receive than the boys? Okay, so for this question, first I'm going to find um, the total amount of money that the boys and girls shared. Okay, so the first step would be to use uh, 69.88 multiplied by 250. Okay, that will be $17,470. Okay, in the next step, I'm going to use um, a bit of guess and check to find out how many boys and girls are there. Okay, the average amount each boy received is 55. So if I were to use 55, okay, multiply by the number of boys. And if I were to plus, 85 multiplied by the number of girls okay it should give me uh 1700 and oh sorry uh 17470 dollars so now i'm going to do um guess i'm going to use 150 and 100 first okay with a uh, Calculator, it shouldn't take you too long to find the answer. 85 times 100. Gonna give me 16,750. Although this is wrong, but I think um, we are get we are we're quite close. So what I need to do is I need to increase the amount. Okay, so to increase the amount, I need to increase the amount of um, girls and decrease the number of boys. Hmm... I'm going to do an increase of 10 okay, which means that the next step will be to use 55 times 140 plus 85 times 110 Okay, this will give me 17050. Okay, let me calculate what is the increase. 16750, it is 300. Okay, so every time I increase by 10, I will increase by 300. So if I were to increase 10 more, I'm sorry, decrease 10 more over here, 130, and increase another 10 more over here, 120. It is going to give me a 17350. Okay, then uh, now I am $120 away. <clears throat> Okay, if every time I increase by 10, it increases by 300, it means that every time I increase by 1, it will increase by 30. Okay, since I am um, 120 away, which means that 120 divided by 30 will give me a 4. Which means that I need to decrease this by 4. <clears throat> so it will be 55 times uh, 126. Okay, plus 85 times 1, 2, 4. Okay, it's going to give me 1,000, oh sorry, 17,470 dollars. Okay, so let us uh, calculate the amount that the boys received. This is for the boys. 
55 times 1 to 6 which is <coughs> 6930 okay, this is for the girls Five times one to four, which is a one o five four o. Okay, the question is asking how much more money did the girls receive than the boys? So I'm gonna use one o five four o. And minus away the six thousand nine hundred and thirty. So one o five four o minus six nine three o. Gonna give me three thousand six hundred and ten. Okay, this will be the answer. Question 15. Danny bought four times as many pencils as notebooks and three times as many erasers as notebooks. Okay, let me write this down first. So Stanley bought four times as many pencils as notebooks. That means pencil is to notebook will be four is to one. And three times as many erasers as notebook. So eraser is to notebook is three is to one. Okay, so I can um can see that pencil is to um notebook. The eraser is 4 is to 1 is to 3. Okay, he spent a total of um, $62.40 on these items. He spent six ninety more on the pencils. So I'm gonna draw a line. He's six ninety more on the pencils than the notebooks. So pencil, draw a model. Okay, it will be six ninety more. More on the pencils than the notebooks. Okay, notebooks would be like this. And 480 more on the notebooks than the eraser. Okay, which means that the eraser will also be lesser. Okay, here would be 480. Or 80. and this will become the one unit okay the total will be sixty two dollars and forty cents okay each notebook costs uh, two dollars forty cents more than each erasers how many pencils did Stanley buy okay let us figure out how much did he spend on the pencils uh, notebook and erasers so the first uh, thing I'm going to work on here would be to use okay, 3 unit will be equal to 6240 okay, minus away 480 times 2 minus away 690 okay, Basically I'm removing all this um, excess okay, or the extra this and this so 62.4 minus um, 4.8 minus 4.8 and minus another 6.9 So it's gonna be um, forty five point nine zero. Okay, one unit will be equal to $15 and 30 cents Okay, which means that um, the pencil he spent fifteen thirty plus four eighty plus six ninety, which is twenty seven dollars. Notebook will be um, one unit plus four eighty, which is uh, twenty dollars and ten cents. Okay, eraser is one unit which is fifteen dollars and thirty cents. So 
Okay, the next part it says that each notebook costs uh, 240 more than each eraser. How many pencils did Stanley buy? Okay, so the next step we need to draw relationship with the number of items over here. Okay, we're gonna make them the same by dividing this with a 4. Okay. <clears throat> pencils divided by four um, notebook there's no need to divide because it's uh, one unit eraser i need to divide by three okay so e will be equal to six dollar seventy five cents notebook never changed 20.1 and eraser would be 15.3 divided by 3 will give me $5.10. Okay, so each notebook costs uh, 240 more than the erasers. So if you look at the notebook and the erasers, continue over here. Um, I'm going to find how many erasers are there. 20.1 minus 5.1 and divide by the 240. Okay, 20.1 minus 5.1 divided by 2.4 Okay, something seems to be wrong it Seems like I've made a mistake somewhere Check through the question again Then he bought 4 times as many pencils as notebooks as as notebook is 4 is to 1 3 times as many erasers as notebooks 3 is to 1 okay so um, pencil is to notebook is to eraser is 4 is to 3 is to 1 spend a total of uh, $62.40 on these items oh okay you spend $6.90 more on the pencil so this one should be uh, 9.6 Okay, so I'm going to redo this whole section again. Draw a better model so that um, you'll be able to see it clearly. Okay, so for pencils I'm gonna try and draw a bigger block okay, nine dollars and sixty cents more on the pencils than the notebook so notebook will be here okay, and four dollars is uh, four dollars eighty cents more on the notebooks then the eraser so eraser will be smaller block okay and then um, this part here will be 480 which means that this part here is also 480 it okay, all together is 62 dollars 40 cents okay so three unit will be equal to 62.40 okay, minus away the total of the extra so it's this part here and this part here okay, I'm gonna use a calculator to find the total 4.8 plus 4.8 plus 9.6 which is a uh, $19.20 okay Forty-three dollars and twenty cents. Okay, which means that one unit will be equal to. I forgot to write down. This is the one unit. Okay, fourteen dollars and forty cents. Okay, I'm gonna write the next step over here. <clears throat> which means that for the pencils 
Okay, it'll be 1440 plus the 480 and plus the $9.60, which will give me a $28.80. Okay, notebook will be 14.4 plus 4.8, which is $19.20. Okay, erasers will be $14.40. Okay, the next step will be to make them all equal. So I need to divide by 4 and I need to divide by 3 for this. Okay. E will be equal to 28.8 divided by 4, $7.20. Okay, notebook did not change. And eraser is 14.4 divided by 3, which will give me 4.8. Okay, each notebook costs uh, two dollars and forty cents more than the eraser. So now, um, if I were to use nineteen point two in minus four point eight, and I divide it by the two dollars and forty cents. Okay, it's gonna give me a six. Okay, which means that um, there are six items each over here. Okay, if I want to find how many pencils did Stanley buy, I need to use six times four because at the beginning I divide it by four to make them all the same. Okay, there are twenty-four pencils. Okay, I removed the question 16 because there's some problems with the diagram. So let's uh, move on to question 17. Okay, question 17. Bala uses a shaded and unshaded squares to form uh, figures that follow a pattern. The first three figures are shown below. The table below shows the number of uh, unshaded squares for each figure. Complete the table for figure 4 and figure 5. Okay, the number of shaded squares will be 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So it is a plus 2 each time. Number of um, unshaded squares will be uh, 5, 8, 11. So it looks like it's a plus 3, plus 3. Okay, plus 3 will be a 14 and plus 3 will be a 17. Okay, for part B, uh, what is the difference in the number of unshaded squares Bala used for figure 11 and 14? Okay, so we need to find um, the number of unshaded squares for figure 11 and 14. <laughs> okay, if you are familiar with this pattern um, that is always increasing by 3, this one is a AP pattern. Okay, so first I'm going to minus 5 by uh, from all of them and then you realize it becomes a um, 3 times table. Okay, so this is uh, 0 times 3, 1 times 3, 2 times 3, and so on. Okay, and if you look at these numbers over here, okay, they're in line with the figure number, but you just have to plus 1. Okay, which means that if I were to... I need to find figure 11. Okay, the first thing I need to do is... Um, 
I need to use the 11 plus 1, which is... I'm oh, sorry, 11 minus 1, which is 10. Times 3. And add back the 5. Which will give me 35. Okay, if I want to find figure number 14. I need to minus 1 to the 14, which will give me a 13. 13 times 3. Plus 5. Okay, which will give me a 44. So the difference between them will be 44 minus 35, which is 9. Okay, part C, another figure in the pattern has uh, 20 more unshaded than shaded squares. Okay, what is the total number of shaded and unshaded squares in that figure? <coughs> Okay, if you look at the difference between the number of shaded and unshaded squares, the difference is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, it follows the figure number. Okay, so if um, another figure in the pattern has 20 more unshaded than shaded squares, which means it will be figure 20. What is the... Okay, for figure 20, what is the total number of um, shaded and unshaded squares in that figure? Okay, so for figure 20, how about let's find out what is the um, unshaded first. Okay, we're gonna use back this uh, method. So 20 minus 1 is gonna be 19 times 3 plus 5 is going to be equal to 62. For figure 20 shaded, okay, if you look at the pattern for um, the shaded squares, it's 4, 6. Um, it's always a plus 2, plus 2. So if you know that it's always a plus 2, okay, the uh, method is always the same. So you minus 1, you use 19 times 2, and then you add back the first number, which is a 4. Okay, 19 times 2, plus 4 will be 42. Okay, so uh, for part C, this is for part C. Now, uh, what is the total number of shaded? And unshaded squares that would be um, 62 plus 42 okay, is gonna be equal to 104. Okay, we have come to the end of the paper. <laughs>